How's it going, guys? It's the Pixelate Pumpkin, and welcome back to our fourth Morris Costumes video in a row. There's just been so much going on with them. They first said they weren't going to release their videos until, like, two months from now, yet all of a sudden they just drop all of them on their, on their YouTube channel, which I made a compilation of on my channel. You could go check it out if you want to see the props' full demos, since some of them have a lot of phrases, and I'm not going to show them all in the video just for the sake of time. But if you want to go check those out, I'll put it in the iCard and in the description. So, you, Or you could just go on my channel and just go to my video before this. But anyways, um, I'll just be giving you my thoughts and um, reactions to all these prompts, similar to what I did last year. Um, and yeah, there's really not much else to say, except that I will be going through them in the order from my least favorite to my favorite. And there's a lot to get through here, so let's begin. So the first prop we have here is Cotton Candy Candice. Now, I don't think this prop is terrible by any means. I just think it's pretty lame and the audio has been overused to death. And I just think it's kind of dumb looking, especially with the ugly face mold that this girl has. Um, it's really just not one I like. I don't like this thing at all. I think it's pretty stupid. Definitely not the worst prop we've ever seen, but it's it's really generic and just not something I think I like personally. Um, I know there are people who do like this, but a lot of people have been seeing, have having the same reaction as I've had. Um, there's just really nothing special about it, and I would have liked to see a better prop in her place, um, especially if we got like a different demo of a prop, but... I don't know. It's it's kind of stupid looking, and I just think we could have seen something better. Maybe if there was a hand sticking out of it, that would have been a lot cooler, especially if it had, like, animation in the fingers. I think that would have been awesome. But nonetheless, this is the first prop, and I'm just, yeah, let's just take a look at the next one. Another foolish child dares to trespass on this wicked place. Here, now a spell to remove that smile from your pretty face. Next up, we have the 36-inch Fortune Teller Witch. Now, this is one of the little greeter props, the three-foot little guys um, that we've seen a couple of them. There's plenty more to come um, in this video since there's four of them released, but this is my least favorite out of all of them, definitely. Um, not to say I hate it. I think it is a nice little greeter. The um, crystal ball, I like how it glows. Um, the different colors look pretty nice, but it's really basic. It uses old audio that's been used so many times um with a lot of these props actually unfortunately they've they just love to reuse audio um but i don't know it's really one of the most generic ones the animation on the mouth as you could see it really isn't that good and i just think we could have seen a little bit more from this prop but nonetheless it is just a little three foot character so it's really nothing too special but i think it's one of the most basic and i don't know let's move on to the next one Step right up, kitties. We've got the craziest place in town right here. <laughs> you do like the circus, don't you? You better like clowns, otherwise, <laughs> I might, I might just go crazy. Next up is the 36-inch Small Top Clown. Now, obviously, this is a mini version of the Big Top Clown. I'm pretty sure it has different audio. Um, but as I said in my last video, actually, I said I like this better than the doll. But after hearing some of the phrases on this guy, they're very generic, very stupid, and I just don't like them at all. I think the design is actually pretty good on this clown. Um, I like how they actually made a really smart design choice by, I guess just from the lights, I don't really know if it's actually like this on the prop, but it looks like his eyes are looking up. So when you're looking down at him, since he's only three feet tall, he'll be looking up at you, which I think is a really cool touch and it makes a lot of sense. And that's very good on Morse costumes part um, for adding that little design there. I like that a lot. Or it could have been Seasonal Vision's idea, but I don't know which one, but they're basically pretty much the same. I mean, one's, never mind. I'll get into that later. But, um, I like this guy. Um, he's really not the best out of all of them. We'll get into that in a few, um, more props, but I don't know. It's really generic again. Um, just another boring clown, but it definitely stands out more than the witch. And I just think it's better than the witch and cotton candy Candace, of course, that thing's not even good. But, um, enough talking about this guy. Let's move on to the next one. 
<laughs> Can't find your friends? Don't try to find them. They're with me now. Watch you when you are sleeping. Don't worry, I'll stand right next to your bed. Next up, we have the 36 inch vintage doll. Now, I have to say, this one is actually incredible. The audio is amazing on this thing. I love the phrases, they're actually really creepy. Um, I definitely have to say, this is probably one of the best doll props we've seen in a long time. There's just something about it that's really off-putting and really creepy about it. I really wish we would see more dolls like this. And it actually makes sense that it's three foot, considering that it is a doll. So it's nice to see a three foot prop that makes sense for once. Because I remember from Pan-Asian Creations, we got like a three foot werewolf. That doesn't really make much sense. Even though I do love those little three foot guys from Home Depot. I think these, most of them are better. But I seriously like the doll. I definitely think it is way better than the clown and the witch. And it's a very close second to my favorite out of all of them, which we'll see coming up next. But I definitely have to say this one is really cool. And it's finally nice to see something that's not reusing audio. And the audio is actually legitimately creepy on it. And the prop too is legitimately creepy. Overall, I really like this one. And let's move on to the next one. Ah, look who comes this way. Some more seeds to add to the earth. This patch has been barren for too long, but now, with your help, I will bring to life more of my kind, and all it takes are your bones. <laughs> now, finally, the last out of the Little Mini Guys series, as of now at least, they could release more, is the Twitching Scarecrow. I don't know really why they called it that, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways, I absolutely love this guy's design. First of all, the pumpkin head is incredible on this. I think, I just absolutely love the design. I think it's so cool. Um, I really, I would have killed to have this as a life-size prop, okay? Um, I would have bought this thing right away, as I said in my um, two videos ago, or one of my other Morse costumes videos about the leaks. Just the images, not any of the videos yet. But I absolutely love this guy. The phrases just really make me upset because they're overused they're reused again and they don't really match this guy's voice that like he looks like i think he would have more of like a country sounding voice like a farmer sounding voice and the phrases just don't really match and i just really wish they wouldn't overuse phrases especially for a guy as cool as this now if we ever get a life-size version of this guy with like the same face mold and same overall design i will definitely be getting that um i absolutely love how this guy looks I just really wish he came in a life-size form. Who knows, we could actually see him as a life-size in Moore's costumes lineup for the rest of the year, but um, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to bet on it or anything. I just really hope that one day we'll get a life-size that is similar to this guy. Um, overall, I like him a lot, except for his phrases. I wish they'd make him some new phrases, and hopefully if they ever do make him life-size, he has new phrases. But anyways, that's it for basically the mini-series, so let's move on to our final two props. At last you are here. Come closer. I will escort you into the shadows of the night. Now. Second to best, we have the Hooded Phantom. I did say in my previous Moore's Costumes discussion video that I think we needed to see the animation before I could get my final thoughts out on this guy, and I definitely agree with that. I definitely thought he was going to have some sort of rising motion, similar to some of the techie toys props, like from last year, I forget what she's called, I'm pretty sure Lady of the Grave. I thought this guy would have similar animation to that, but I guess not. It's a pretty generic side-to-side -side motion, but nonetheless, I still really like this guy. Again, he has really overused phrases. Um, a, a lot of people were upset about this. I think the concept for this guy is really cool, and it's nice that you can turn off the audio on it if you just want to let it play or animate, because I think um, if you just put this in like a graveyard scene, it will look extremely ominous and extremely creepy. Now, in the light, I don't think it looks that great. I really like the lights on it, though. The green um, in the face, how it like 
starts at the top is really bright and it just goes down and it gets it gets darker and darker. I really like that. And the lights in the hands are also a nice touch. I do think it is a little bland, but I mean, what else would you expect from this prop? It really doesn't need anything else added to it. Um, and I just think it's a very cool and ominous looking prop that will go great in any graveyard scene or haunted mansion. Overall, this one is pretty good. I just wish we could have seen like the rising animation again and new phrases on it. But nonetheless, he is still really cool. So let's move on to my favorite prop released so far. This dank old house is oozing with the foul stench of rotten souls. It's kept me thriving as long as I hide down here with the rats. I'm happy to share with you if you have the stomach for it. <laughs> now, my favorite prop of the lineup this far, the Cellar Dweller. I absolutely love this guy. If you want to go listen to all of his phrases, since they're all brand new and I think they're all incredible, make sure you go watch my compilation video of all these guys. He is the first one in it, um, so make sure you go take a look at that and come back to this video after you did, or just finish watching this one and then go re-listen to all of his phrases. But overall, this guy is really cool. When I first saw his sock photos, I just thought he was another generic, run-of-the-mill, towering props, but his audio really does it for me here. Um, the design, too, is really cool. I just wish he was wearing a little bit something else, like for his main clothes, like maybe like some green, disgusting clothes that would look cool, and a little bit more creepy cloth, but... Nonetheless, he is still so cool. I love the design of his face. The latex on it goes, like, fits around the whole mold perfectly. And I think the face is also really creepy on it. Um, his hands are pretty cool. And the animation is also pretty nice as well. This, I was right about it. This was the one used on that unreleased or UK exclusive Seasonal Visions prop called the Pumpkin King. Um, I did like that one quite a bit. Kind of sad not to see it released in the States. But nonetheless, um, I would have not, I wouldn't have bought in it. It's definitely not the coolest pumpkin head prop, but it still was pretty nice. But definitely, this guy is awesome. Um, I love his whole theme being like a sewer, like, like obviously cellar dweller, like his whole moldy aesthetic he's got going on, and I really like it. If you put him right by like a scented fog machine with like a mold smell, that would be really cool, and it would definitely fit the tone of the whole thing. But Definitely one of the coolest props we've seen um, from Morris Costumes in a long time, in my opinion. It's nice to see a towering prop that isn't a clown from them, definitely. And hopefully, we get some more cool stuff for the rest of their lineup. Now, that's pretty much all I have to say about these guys, so let's wrap up the video. Alright, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I'm currently exactly 98 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Thank you for all the support. I have a very special video planned for 1,000 subs, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see what that is sooner than later. Also, be sure to like the video. Um, it really helps out my channel, and it'll help me get to that goal sooner. And overall, I think Morris's lineup for this year thus far is pretty good. I really can't wait to see what else they have in store. It would be nice to see some of the um, demos for the two witch prop, the two other witch props they had, the Cauldron Duo and the Sitting and Standing Witch. Make sure you go check out those leaked photos in my other Morse Costumes discussion video. Um, also, I just had a lot of fun making these Morse Costumes props videos over these past few days. And I really thought when they announced that they weren't going to be releasing anything, I thought we were going to have to wait a really long time before I'd be able to talk about any of this stuff. But um, we get, but in this community, we take what we want. And if someone's going to go in and get all those photos like a few people did in the last videos, they will. And I think that, like, I don't know why they even said that since they just ended up releasing all the prop videos anyway. So kind of a strange situation why they even said that. Maybe they were just trying to pull a fast one on us and then just release them all like they did, but I don't know. I think um, the props this far are really good. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, this is the Pixlay Pumpkin, signing out.